Growing up, I went to church regularly with my parents, and I was brought up to know that there was a God who loved me. When I was 14, I went to a summer retreat with my church group in Daytona Beach, Florida, and it was there that I asked Jesus into my heart. As I got older and on my own, I began to drift away from what God had planned for me. Even at my lowest and darkest days, I had prayed for God to help me, and I started to believe that I was too far lost for His grace. In 2017, I reconnected with my cousin Cindy after 15 years, and she attended North Point and invited me to sit with her and her daughter. Going to church together became a part of a regular routine that I looked forward to, and in God's timing, He brought her back into my life. The following year, I met my husband, Chris. He helped me continue to pursue God in our life together, and we began attending Gwinnett Church. After my first service, I knew that I had found my home. It was there that my feelings aligned with what I believed God had planned for me all along, that His grace and forgiveness was finally understood. And after the birth of our son, I truly understood what unconditional love felt like. I'd like to thank my dad for his unconditional love and reminder that God always had a plan for me. To my mom for always being there. My cousin Cindy for bringing faith and hope back into my life. And to my husband Chris and my son Christian for helping me find my heart. I'm here today to let everyone know that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and today I'm forever free. <laughs>I am so excited today. You are taking a, a decision that you made a few years ago that you made to, to ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins and to be your savior. And today you're taking it public by following him in baptism. And we could not be more excited for you. You have seen the faith of others played out in your life from your parents, to your husband, to your cousin, to your, she's a ballet teacher, y'all. And so many of her girls are here. And girls, you guys have been instrumental. You walked out your faith and she saw that. She saw you being baptized and she took that and said, hey, it's time for me too. So we are so excited today and I could not be more honored to baptize you, my friend, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.